there's one interpretation of quantum mechanics that basically says it may look to us that there's a nearly infinite number of electrons out there, but there's actually only one electron popping in and out of existence. It's like all of the electrons are the same electron. And if you follow supersymmetry down to the, to the bottom, maybe all existence is just one particle. So by the same token, we might understand each of ourselves as attention, looking out onto the world from a different shifting locus in the matrix of relationships. And then the question is, well, how is my attention any different from your attention? Ultimately, it's the same attention. Perhaps you could consider that our only real agency and choice is the choice of what to pay attention to. And that all of our other apparent choices come as the automatic product of what we have created ourselves to be through the exercise of attention. The dualistic mind has trouble grasping this paradox that in, in essence, our choice of what to pay attention to is God making the choice of what to create. So my agency is not separate from your agency or from God's agency.